Hi, this is Lynn, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to back up your Windows Live Mail. And w Windows Live Mail is a free program from Microsoft. All you need is a Windows Live ID. If you have one and you already have a mail account, you can either look at your mail on the web or you can download for free Windows Live Mail program. To find that, it's part of the Windows Live Essentials suite of programs. Just go and bing Windows Live Essentials and you can download mail or any of the other programs that they have. And in order to back up your mail, you will need to use your desktop program. So let's take a look and get started and, and see how easy it is to do. You click the drop down in the upper left and we're going to export mail. And we'll say export email messages. Of course, we're in Windows Live Mail. Say next and browse and you want to make a new folder. Make sure you want to make a new folder. I, I've tried uh, selecting a, an existing folder, but they want a new one. So I'm going to say OK, and that's where it's going to go. Then you can do selected folders or all folders. I'm going to say selected for the purpose of this demonstration because I don't want it to take very long. And it didn't. And say finish. And that's all there is to it to export your mail. Just remember where you put it. And then say your account got compromised and you don't have access to it anymore, then you can easily restore your mail to a new mail account. You wouldn't be able to use your old account. You'd have to set up a new one. And then after it's set up, then you just come back over here and you want to import live mail. And then you navigate to where you put your your I believe it's an INI file. So I'm going to hit cancel. The other thing that you'd want to back up are your contacts. So let's go take a look at those. And Microsoft makes it real easy to do. You just click on export. And the most common is a CSV file. And save it. You can save it wherever you want. I'll just say to my desktop. And I'll say Lynn Contacts, January 12, and say Save. Next, and select all the fields you want. I think most of these are already selected, and say Finish. And then it's going to export them. That way you'll have a record of that, and you will be able to also use it to import into other programs if you, if you have different contacts in, in your different email and you can uh, bring them in. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you all decide to back up your mail. I think it's important to that you have control of your mail and not somebody else. Thanks for stopping by. If you have any comments, please post them.